We're here at the BMW International Open in Munich. The course is set. The players are ready. And for the first time, the NTT data wall is here with every shot, hole and player covered. Welcome to the NTT data experience and welcome to Golf Club I Can Read. Here is your host. Hello and welcome. I'm Mandy Clark and we're here in Munich for the second day of BMW's International Open. I'm here with Hannes Frischmann, who is the global design lead at Leone, which is Germany's leading manufacturer for over 400 years. And also with us is Anja uh, Pilgrim, who is NTT Data's client partner for many companies, but also for Leone. Thank you for joining me. Today we'll be talking about the power of partnerships, the importance of innovation and change, but let's kick off first with sport and being back here at live sporting events. Hannes, I know you're a big golf fan. What does it be like to be back experience live sports? Yeah, I mean, I'm really happy to be back again here this year. So it's, it's uh, much bigger than last year. So due to COVID, we had a lot of re reductions also to playing golf. Um, and so I'm really happy, uh, yeah, that we can now without any restriction do what we like to do in the, in the private life, in the sport life, let's say. So I'm really happy. Anya, I know that you are a big golf fan and you had a chance to play Pro-Am, which is where professionals and amateurs are teamed up together. What was it like? Yeah, on Wednesday, uh, we start uh, together with the amateurs um, to play with the professionals. And it was a great day um, to make the experience. It is a unique um, opportunity to play with them. And we have a lot of fun and it was seriously a great day. Fantastic. And Hannes, um, when it comes to being in a live sporting event, what's the best part for you? I mean, for me, it's, uh, it's for sure the sport. Yeah, to be honest, um, if you like golf, it's, it's, it's uh, really cool to, to be in such a place here. Um, but also to come together with, um, I would say, friends now uh, related to our partnership we had for the last couple of years. So it's, it's a mix, I would say. So sport and business, and uh, that's pretty cool. I certainly think when it comes to live sporting event, the fans bring that extra bit of atmosphere uh, to the event. And I think it, it must add not only for the fan experience, but for the players. I think the audience is important for the players and the audience um, gives a, a little bit feedback um, for the players and they love um, to get feedback is um, like in, in the business um, when we got or when we get no feedback from our customer it's yeah. not helpful it can't be better than yeah. right yeah so it it's, it's it's yeah well there certainly is something really special about being here and earlier i had a chance to take a tour and get a sense of that fan experience here at the bmw international open <laughs> The gates are open once again to the fans of live golf, and they're streaming in to have their chance to see their favorite players up close. And being on the ground, they get unique experiences you can only have by being here. One of the first things you get to see is the new BMW electric cars that are on display. But on top of that, for the very first time here at the International BMW Open is the NTT data wall. This is a chance for fans to really find out what is happening on the course. They'll find out where the players are, what the rankings are, where they are on the holes, how they're doing on different holes. It's a chance to experience the Open in real time.
So of course they're here, the fans, to have that live golf experience, seeing some of the world's best players on the course, but they also have the opportunity to put their skills to the test and do some putting on a green. There is one more thing I'd love to show you, and that's the NT Data Pavilion. Uh, it's Dasha. Hi. <laughs> so tell me about your experience so far here. Uh, it's been very amazing. Usually I don't really have a lot of experience with golf, but in the past few days I've had like a crash course. I'm getting to learn a lot about my colleagues, the work, and of course the great sport. So yeah, it's amazing. And, and what's happening over there? This is our Kirari technology. Um, so basically what people get to do here is they get to play a bit of mini golf and this camera then projects the image onto our little TV screen where you can then see yourself as a 3D hologram. Have people been having a go? Yeah, plenty and uh, usually they are also very excited to see themselves in a new light and also how sport might look like in the future. I really enjoyed touring around the area, but what I found amazing was that NTT data wall. Tell me a bit about it. Yeah, I saw the NTT data wall uh, first time. Um, I think uh, they arrived uh, two days ago and it was a great opportunity. Um, the wall presents the, the audience the live data. I think we can watch the pros and we are sitting behind the wall. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool because if you play golf on a, I would say, medium to high level, you need uh, a lot of data like what is the wind, where, from where, what the others are doing and, and so on. So, uh, I mean, data or feedback from the from the ground, from the crowd, it's it's really important. And also what what you're de doing here with your team, it's, it's pretty amazing because you get direct feedback yeah. live. That's pretty cool. And as a golf fan yourself, you, you're looking for that type of data, are you, when you're, when you're enjoying a sport? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm, I'm, if I'm watching golf, I'm always happy to get more information um, yeah, from, from each player. And that is possible with, with uh, let's say, you need to, to prepare a lot of things, but, but I like that very much, yeah. I mean, if you play by your own, um, you do not have such <laughs> big data <laughs> stuff. So that's really cool. Yeah. yeah, it is very cool. Uh, my question to you is, as an innovator, uh, with Leone, how important is it to bring kind of new experiences, new technologies to your clients? Yeah, I mean, that's uh, a kind of a business model, I would say, because um, if, you, if you can sell to the customer something which, which others doesn't or which, is, which make the client more happy, let's say, then you, you have an advantage. Yeah, it's, it's a simple story, I would say. And uh, to do that, you need to, to collect data and, and, uh, and use it, use it in the right way. And uh, so, yeah. And what do you think it brings to the fans? Oh, to the fans, it's, it's, it's amazing to get uh, every live touch point and they are sitting for the wall and get all the kind of stuff in, in life and uh, some real um, data um, are collecting and the wall shows who are the players, what are they doing, and any um, type of KPIs was sent for us? Absolutely. And innovation lies at the heart of cutting edge technology, something that Leone has been at the forefront for centuries. Earlier, I had the opportunity to talk to the company's chief information officer about not only its past, but its future. What started as a small workshop for Leonese wares in Nuremberg becomes a global enterprise. Leone Javaka Rot Nuremberg AG is formed in 1917. Initially a supplier of premium embroidered textiles, the company later moved into wire manufacturing. 
After its IPO in 1923, the company traded as Leonische Tratwerke AG from 1931 onwards. Leone supplied the booming post-war automotive industry with cables and the first pre-assembled cable harnesses. In the 1960s, Leone first built up its capacities in Germany before expanding to Tunisia in 1977. This marked the start of rapid internationalization. The wiring systems division is now becoming a sought-after partner for car manufacturers. Shortly before the turn of the millennium, the company becomes a holding. The modern-day Leone AG is born. In 2002, the company moves from the small to mid-cap stock index listing in Germany. Since then, the group has systematically expanded its know-how in high technology sectors. Acquisitions have been used to gain access to attractive niche markets and strategically important clients. And Leone's global growth continues with award-winning quality, customer satisfaction, and delivery reliability, and on the right track as a development and systems partner to enjoy a successful future. Uh, throughout those next 100 years, um, to, till today, we, we've made, uh, I would say, substantial changes. And hey, my name is Christoph. Um, I'm responsible for IT at Leoni. From starting really with simple wiring, as such, now uh, going to in a much more and focused, uh, complex automotive wiring, where we do a lot of uh, wiring harnesses, overall solution um, designs for a lot of those big and well-known um, automotive manufacturers, similar like BMW who is the, the sponsor also for the International Open this year. We have 100,000 employees working in 30 locations or across the globe and basically providing from engineering and manufacturing side um, the nerve system of a car that is uh, driving around here everywhere. A wiring harness, a wiring system as the nerve system of the car. And with that, you won't be able to use your entertainment uh, um, products in, in a car. With that, you won't be able to comfortably sit in your chair. You won't be able to open your roof. So it's basically the data and energy backbone of a car that we are providing. You have to manage that complexity. That complexity to steer what type of wire needs to be brought into which type of car in combination for those different type of functions. That's just simply something you can, can't do anymore with pen and paper. And therefore, IT is a typical enabler uh, up to date. We won't be able to deliver any harness to our uh, customers anymore at the moment without a proper IT solution. We started to, uh, together with NTT Data a project um, uh, that we call Flow at Leoni. Uh, which is a S4 HANA, typical S4 HANA transformation uh, that we are going through. You see that quite often on the market at the moment, and we do that together with NTT Data. I think maybe 450 years is quite a long, uh, long road to go, but nevertheless, I think what that type of complex business model we have today, and it will get more complex in the future, the integration part, for example, is not being able to be handled without IT. You know what really struck me is that Leone and the game of golf both originate from the 1500s. Um, what I want to know when it comes to having a company that has such a long history, how important is to be the ability to adapt and change? Yeah, I mean, it's um, a really important thing because um, the world is turning. I mean, every day something happens and you need to react on it. and. That's uh, one reason why we, we take in our uh, flow project uh, Archive methodology, because that's, that's a way you can handle changes and react on changes really fast. Um, beside that, I would say it's, it's, it's all about uh, the, the team and so on. But uh, yeah, I mean, we, we select that method to react exactly what you said on, on changes quite fast. And you mentioned Flowey and so did uh, Christoph. Can you tell me a bit about it? I think it's it's one of the biggest transformational program you, you have in the moment. Sure. I think uh, mostly important for you as a company to produce um, your cables in the next, I mean, 100 years or 10 years or <laughs> in between. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the harnesses as well. I mean, yeah, um, 
we are we are really um, need to do that kind of big change because our our ERP systems are quite old. So um, and and therefore, I mean, we are talking about an SAP, so S for HANA transformation project here, and. Um, for sure. I mean, when I when I look back in um, in 2018, when when I joined that project, I mean, I started from scratch, really. So I was alone in my engineering to launch uh, work stream, and now I'm talking about a team size of uh, around 20 people. So 10 from external, 10 from internal, and uh, yeah, I'm really proud about that. And uh, and it's 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 necessary um, to let's say to secure that we can produce the next hundred years um, in, in, a, in a more and more digitally world. Yeah. And as the global design lead, where do you yeah. see design going into the future? Yeah, I think um, one big uh, topic is that you, yeah, we have that. You need to react fast on changes or let's call it wishes from the customers, from the market. Um, and uh, therefore, you, you can't work like you did 20 years ago. Um, so um, it's, it's, it's all about uh, digitalization and, and, and uh, faster reaction, faster progress. Um, and yeah, to great benefits for, for the customer. And um, I think with that um, Flow project, we, we, we are part um, of that story, um, of that success story. And to bring Leonie in a, in a better digitally future. I think you have great passion for this program and I think we will both make it successfully. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. And uh, NTT Data is a global innovator. What is the technology that you're most excited about in other fields? Oh, I think uh, we came from the automotive industry and it's very important to make the autonomous driving very to bring that in the future and i think entity data is one of the biggest partner in this case incredible and ntt data here at the bmw open of course brought the data wall but it's not the only sport they're involved in globally so let's take a look at some of the other technology ntt data is bringing into the sporting world <laughs> Sports are fast and furious, precise and hard-hitting. Sports can be a slog or elegant, but sport is always, always about the fans. All across the world, NTT is using technology to shape the future of sports and bring fans closer to the action. What I love most, I think, just that human interaction with a machine and both of them having to have a perfect day to celebrate winning the Indianapolis 500. What I love about the sport today is there's still those elements of why we were built to test technology and no place is better to test new technologies than the IndyCar and the IndyCar series, but then in the venue as well, making sure our customers feel that technology experience as well. You can't see the whole track, so you don't know what's happening if you're sitting in turn one, what's happening in turn three. That's been really exciting to be able to have a partner that has the knowledge, that has the experience, that has the desire and the passion to know just as much about our sport as we do. Bringing all of that together makes that experience better for our customer. The customer really feels engaged and they walk away feeling like they got insider information that at the end of the day makes the experience so much better and I got a better chance of getting them to come back and enjoy the Indy 500 again. What I love in the Tour de France, this is the technical challenge every day. And when you are talking about the technology, when you are explaining that every day, all the infrastructure, all the system is moving, is shutting down, moving during the night, relight in the, mo in the morning. It's, it's really complicated, it's really complex. We absolutely need to be agile, to be uh, scalable. It's always inspiring to see that we can uh, push the barriers, go further together and create new ideas. We need to connect, we need to engage with all these kind of fans. 
with the smart stadium, we can create even more connection between people who are on the road and people who are watching the Tour de France in front of their TV or on their mobile. This is the, the concept of a smart stadium. A lot of services has been deployed in a field stadium for, uh, for the fans. And our idea is to build the same type of experience, but outdoor, in the middle of nowhere, I would say. Give more services to the people being able to download virtual reality application for localizing the race. And thanks to NTT, uh, you are definitely more part of the tour than before. Close to the, uh, to the spirit of the Tour de France, we are just building something that doesn't exist for the moment. What I personally love about technology is definitely the social connection that technology can uh, create. That's a part of the greatness of the Tour de France. MLB and NTT have partnered to contribute MLB's further success by accelerating the future of smart sports and by providing a new fan experience of watching sports through technological innovation that transmits the experience of watching dynamic MLB baseball to remote locations in real time. Well, NTT Data and the Open have now had a 10-year relationship, which is, is great. 10 years has flown by, and I'm delighted with the innovation NTT Data has brought to the Open. It's really brought the championship to the forefront of sport with, with everything they do for us, giving the spectator and the fans as much information on the course so they can watch uh, live TV uh, on their app and they can track all the scores of all the players, they can see the, the most birdied hole, the most difficult holes, everything is better for the fans and great for the Open. NTT, shaping the future of sports. It's amazing to see the different technology, but what I found really interesting is the IndyCar really emphasized the importance of the partner having the same passion as they did when it came to their sport. For you, Hannes, how important is it to have a partner that really gets the importance of what you're doing? I mean, that's the foundation, I would say. It um, uh, doesn't matter if it's in the private context or in the, in the business context. Um, you need to trust um, uh, each other because otherwise you cannot gain progress and, and, and success. Um, and I think we are really good in that uh, during the last years and we, we are on a, on a good way and um, yeah, to have a success on the end. When I was speaking to your CIO, he made a point of saying the company needs to know what they can do internally and what they can't do and finding the right partners. Yeah. How do you go about it? Yeah, I mean, um, once again, we are talking about a transformation project. And um, to be honest, it's, I would say, one of the toughest things you can do in, in uh, so an SAP, S400 transformation projects. And um, therefore, you need support because it's simply not possible to do um, everything by your own. Um, and therefore, you need a trustful relationship, a trustful partner. Um, like NTT to do that, to, to, to have success on the end. Because, yeah, we are talking about um, 200 people and um, in, in one project. project. Yeah, and um, so um, there, are, there are ups and downs related to, um, to the workload. And um, yeah, there is no other way to do it together with uh, such a big partner. And yeah, he really emphasized that need for trust. How do you build it? Oh, I think it's it's like a heart in it. Um, trust, it's the very um, important thing. Um, as Christoph told you, um, the components from Leone is the heart from the car. And the heart from our partnership is trust. And you can build up on a trustfully partnership um, and then you can make sure that the project um, was successful. Because you're talking about really complex projects like transformation, how do you ensure that you have the same vision? Yeah, I mean, we are working uh, close together, um, I would say, and that's, that's, 
Yeah, also we had that uh, some minutes ago, that, that question about um, feedback and so on. And uh, I'm, I think um, so it's, it's one of the important things to, to, to give feedback and to get feedback very open. So also bad feedback is a good feedback, I would say. Yeah, you know what I mean? So and um, we are we are in, in, a, in a, on a level of, uh, of partnership where we can do that. And I think that's one of the keys. It's on I, what is level. it? I level. I level. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And, and the um, successful partnership um, means that people must be all together successfully. And I think we are in a people business. Um, right. You gave the right uh, people in the project and entity data, data try to find the right people to stuff in your project and we know all it's very important that Leoni is successfully in the next couple of years. I mean especially uh, at uh, these days where the market about um, let's say resources in that specific kind of yeah let's say SAP S4 HANA knowledge world it's 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 a really a small world world yeah there, there are no man, not many people uh, um, and uh, so you you need that partnership yeah, and you need that uh, trustful partner um, who covered us uh, who covered this so um, we are explaining what we need and what we uh, would like to do and you are supporting us with with resources here and, and with knowledge let's say and where do you see this partnership moving into the future oh i i think it's Day by day, um, we, we had a de development and the partnership is changing to more than a partnership. Um, yeah, we learn day by day together and yeah. try to make points better. But you guys have obviously are colleagues, but you're also friends. And I understand you're both uh, hitting the golf course together next week. Yeah, we do. On Monday, we are playing the BMW after tournament, and yeah. I think we are, we will have a lot of fun. Yeah, it's let's see. Yeah, <laughs> let's see if we also can do an albatross uh, on 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 eleven. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, just joking. Yeah, right, right. Well, I'd love to see that albatross. Yeah. Um, but that is all the time we have for at the moment. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.